great honor uh, that um, you, have asked, uh, you have asked us to be present here and you have asked me to give this lecture. Um, uh, given that uh, the role of uh, the comrade was so prominent in the activities of not only the Turkish left in London, but also I think of the Middle Eastern left from what I can gather from other Iranian comrades. Um, I will try and uh, uh, answer a lot more of the points that I raise in this talk in the sessions that will follow in, in responding to the, to the questions and to the debates that I will hear. However, um, I am going to talk principally on why political Islam is a threat to the left in the Middle East and, and how uh, its relations with capital and class and its um, role in terms of dividing society uh, in many ways poses many threats to all of us as activists of the left. Um, I'm afraid I'm not uh, going to go into any answers to this issue, but I think that even by raising some thesis on the kind of dangers we face, maybe it will help us as, um, as uh, political activists, as communists of the region, to uh, try and find jointly, both in the written format and in the spoken format, uh, answers to such issues because I certainly don't have any uh, ready-made answers to that. As uh, Comrade Van uh, said quite correctly, we are facing in many countries the prospect of the popularity, at least, of political Islam. And this popularity has a lot to do with its claims, at least, uh, that political Islam seeks justice. Uh, uh, social justice, economic justice, and many of its propaganda <coughs> is indeed aimed at the poorest sections of the society, hence the challenge to the left. Um, and in many ways, the experience of Iran as the first country where political Islam has been in power for 26 years and nine months, 10 months uh, already, um, uh, and where in its, neighbor, in its neighborhood, in Iraq, we are seeing the establishment of another Islamic Shia Republic. Uh, there are a lot to be learned from what has happened in, the, in Iran, both in terms of what will happen, in my opinion, and is already happening in Iraq, thanks to an occupation that has cost so many lives and so much money, but also uh, in terms of the kind of uh, government of Sharia law that non-Shia Muslims profess to support. Now, I do realize that the talk I'm giving is based on uh, a Sharia law under Shia, and therefore there are differences. Uh, however, many of the issues that I raised do cover, do go beyond the Sunni-Shia divide. Um, some don't, and I will try and point the differences. The first point that one can make about Iran's Islamic Republic is that uh, the government that came to power in order to bring a level of social justice, uh, at least to the Iranian people, has ended up uh, with some of the most, some of the richest uh, sections of the population becoming much richer, sections of the upper middle classes becoming super rich in Iran and the poor getting poorer. So we can at least see uh, that the uh, first claim of political Islam uh, in terms of bringing, uh, uh, ending corruption and bringing a level of uh, mm. social justice is, um, has not worked. Um, how, but what is important is